Hello, welcome all. Welcome to another important video in Electron Jazz. I hope you all are doing great. So, in this video, we'll be looking into another important topic that is nothing but boilerplates. Okay. Up to this point of time, we have created one Electron Jazz project from scratch, where we have created one directory, installed dependencies, and then created two different files. One is HTML, another one is, and then we write a code to start Electron Jazz renderer process. But Everything we were doing up to this point of time, it was all manual. And if you want to create multiple projects, you have to follow the same process over and over again, which is kind of a repetitive task. And if you are working on multiple projects, so you might not want to do that process over and over again. So there should be something that will automate the process of creating your project from scratch. So that's the reason why we have boilerplate concept in the game. So boilerplate is not a Node.js concept and not even Electron.js concept. It's just general term given to any project directory, which will allow you to start your project quickly. If you go over the documentation of Electron.js, you will find dedicated article on boilerplates and CLI. So there is no specific way to create Electron.js project. There are multiple ways. You can create Electron project and there are multiple front-end libraries also you can include in Electron.js project. This is because Electron.js don't want anyone to restrict to follow the same process. If any process is not working for him, he can simply switch to another process of creating Electron.js project. Now, boilerplate is nothing but a Git library or it could be a zip file which has everything set up the folder structure and dependencies already mentioned in the package.json file you just have to clone that library and need to install the dependencies and now you are good to go this certainly saves our time of creating an electron js project from scratch and it also avoids the human errors or the manual mistakes that we always do by the time of creating any project so if you are a beginner and don't want to spend too much time in creating basic electron js application just want to get started with the actual application then you can use boilerplates it will help you to save your time so there are multiple different types of boilerplates you will get to see if you search on google about electron js but there are a few of them that are really important and okay so i have collected links of three different boilerplates and Let's see all of them one by one. The first electron JS boilerplate is in the list is electron quick start. So now this is the one of the basic boilerplate you will get to see on internet. Okay, so it is using minimal simple electron JS setup. And if you see the folder structure also quite simple, you have SRC folder, you have app folder, and then your main file is in the root is in the root directory. So this is completely basic setup and if you are a beginner and don't want to include any advanced front-end libraries in your project then you can certainly use this boilerplate and start creating your project they have also given a documentation so you can read that if you want another boilerplate that we have in the list is angular electron so as we already discussed Okay. If you want to improve the performance of your Electron JS application, then as we already discussed, we should use lazy loading technique in our project. So Angular JS certainly helps us doing that. Angular JS has some optimization techniques so that we can save some memory in our front end or renderer process. So this is also important boilerplate. The next boilerplate that we have in the list is Electron React boilerplate. So now this is one of the most widely used boilerplate. If you see on a GitHub stars, it has got around 18,000 GitHub stars, which is huge for any boilerplate. If you scroll it a little bit down, you will see all required commands to get started with this boilerplate. There are around 118 contributor contributing in this boilerplate at this moment. So certainly this is a really good boilerplate if you want to start with react js and electron so this is all about electron boilerplates from our next video we'll be starting with one of these boilerplates so thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye